Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here and welcome to a Mod Spotlight. Um, this mod we're looking at today is called the Goblins Mod and it's currently on 1.2.5, that's when I'm recording this video if you're watching it late. Um, and what this does is basically adds a hostile mob into the game plus uh, quite a few different items as well. Uh, which is a goblin and it comes with towns. If you look just beyond the trees there you'll just see there's a goblin uh, village. So we're going to go check that out. I'll point out a few things and then I'll show you what's involved in this mod. Uh, so here we go. Let's have a fly over there. We've, we've spawned in a jungle. Um, I'm not going to get too close because we're going to use this uh, this village later for demonstration. So as you see straight away um, there's a goblin. And I do believe the guy with the sword right there is their king or like the leader of the town. And um, you've got an archer goblin right there. We'll get a bit closer, hopefully they won't attack. I don't think they do. You can hear them going hee hee hee. You've also got uh, the wolves. You can get wolf riders. There's one there now with a sword. There's a couple. Uh, we've got warriors there with a sword. There's also mages which will shoot at me. Uh, don't want to get too close because I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, and they spawn all over the map, so you don't have just towns like this, uh, villages. They also spawn down in the caves. Uh, you get minor goblins in the caves, and again, like I say, they're hostile, so you've got to be careful. Right, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we've got a cave down here, so let's see if we can just spot one before we move on to the items. Let's just see if we can find one in the wild. So, down we go. We'll get ourselves... Um, some torches. As you can see I've got too many items installed. Whoa, that's loud. Uh, for demonstration purposes, obviously you would normally play this in survival mode. There's one. There's one now. So there he is. There's two of them in fact. Little goblin miners. So you can find them all over the map like this, not just in um, in the villages. And you get all different types. So let's get out of here and I will start showing you what's involved in this mod. Right then, we've got all the items out ready to go. I'll show you what's involved um, and I'll tell you how to get these items when we're going through it. So let's start off with this. I'll switch that off, I shouldn't need it. It's the Flame Blade, which is a craftable item made by Fiery Crystal. Uh, just the same sort of recipe you'd expect for a normal sword. So let's grab the Flame Blade. Um, we're going to be taking it out on villagers today. Poor villagers. Let's spawn one of these in and whack him with the sword. And as you can see, he burst into flames. So, there we go. A couple of shots and he's down. Uh, the flame blade, like I say, is made by fiery crystals. You obtain fiery crystals with this powder. Um, and it takes two of these explosive powders to make a fiery crystal. And as you can see, I've put all the different types of crystal powders in there as well. So to make an arcane crystal, you need two mystic powders. Uh, lightning crystal to lightning powders, nature crystal to nature powders. Now, to get these powders, uh, it's from the village. So in the village is a totem in the middle of the town, which I'll show you after we've gone through the items, and you you uh, you convert those totems into these powders. So let's just carry on through the items, and I'll show you how to obtain the powders to make the crystals. So, oh, it's going dark, so let's make it day quickly. There we are. Okay, next item is an arcane staff. So let's pick this up. And that's just one arcane crystal, two sticks. Now the arcane staff, let's uh, spawn in another unsuspecting villager. Uh, you can throw like arcane power at them. So a couple, it takes a few shots. There we go, we took four shots to kill him. So there we go, that's uh, like a castable mage type weapon. Um, then we've got the scepter of life, which is, well I'll show you. Uh, you need two nature crystals, two sticks, and hopefully this will work if we just hit the floor. No. Uh, let me just... Whoops. Let's just clear some snow away and hit the floor. There we go. It causes grass to grow. Um, if you're in the desert, you can make cactuses grow. Um, it has 50 uses. So it's basically like a bowl meal staff with 50 uses. So that's a scepter of life, which is another craftable. Uh, that was in there. So next one is a teleportation staff. Now to create one of these, you need to have an arcane staff 
and an H crystal. And as you would expect, it teleports you. But it's not that handy because it teleports you in a random place. So, where are we? There we go. So as you can see, it can be good in a battle to just get away quickly. Um, but unfortunately, you can't teleport to where you want to go. Right, next item is the lightning staff. Uh, lightning crystal, two sticks. And as you can imagine, it calls down lightning. So let's get another test certificate. Now, I'm led to believe if you shoot at the test certificate, it just damages him. But if you shoot near him, it brings lightning down. So make note of that. If you shoot at him, it just damages him. If you shoot near him, it'll actually call down lightning. There we go. So let's shoot there. And that's working quite nicely. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, which is... Ah, the magic bow. Right. So to make the magic bow, you need a regular bow and some exoplasm, which give you a magic bow. And with this, you can use um, special arrows that you can create. So here's the recipes for the arrows. Uh, to make a nature arrow, uh, there's a recipe, and then you've got an explosive arrow and a lightning arrow. So let's give you a demonstration. Let's spawn in some stacks of arrows. 64 of those, 64 of those, 64 of those. And... Uh, Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to need to do them separately. Sorry, one moment. I'll put them in there for now. So let's check out the nature arrow. Look at our test certificate again. And... Uh, got him! Now, as a weapon against uh, test certificates, it's just like a normal arrow. But what it can do is, like the staff, it will... Whoop, let's shoot into the floor. BAM! It'll grow a tree! Woo! So, uh, in deserts it'll grow cactuses, in, in grass it'll grow trees. Random, it do grass and stuff like that as well. So that one can be, can, can be quite handy, yeah. Now let's move on to the next arrow, which is the explosive arrow, right? And as you may have guessed, we can now blow up the tree. Hey! That's just like shooting TNT. It's just as powerful as a TNT block. And quite devastating, really, because you can do some serious damage from a distance. So there you go, there's the TNT arrow. And the other arrow, as you would expect. Where's our test certificate gone? Is he done a runner, or did we kill him? I don't know. Right, uh, it's similar to the lightning staff, but if you actually hit the test certificate with the arrow, he gets struck by lightning, whereas with the staff it's slightly different. It shoots an orb out. That's that we got him. So there we go. I really like in the arrows. I think they are a very nice addition. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's move on to the other items. So you've also got um, bombs. So let's grab a couple of these bombs. They're very simple. You need smooth stone and gunpowder. And you simply let's let's uh, again. I feel sorry for these test certificates now. Let's just chuck a grenade at him. Oh, no, oh, we missed. We missed. There we go, have it. There, there, so they're quite good. You can just chuck them. They blow up after a couple of seconds. Uh, next is a, a shirt. Uh, oh, I can never remember how it says. A shirken, I believe. Very simple recipe, you just need cobblestone. And that's a throwable item, so you just right click and it launches it like an arrow. And uh, yeah, very, very simple item. You can have hundreds of those because cobblestone's quite, quite, you know, everywhere. Another item that's available is the katana. But uh, on the forum, there's no crafting recipes for this, so I can only assume it's a drop. Um, I can't really cover that one very well. And the next thing is a little bit of a fun item. You wouldn't really use this too much, but it's enchanted TNT. So what you need is normal TNT and explosive powder. Now, let's get ourselves uh, a redstone torch. Let's get two, actually because there's actually another piece of TNT I want to show you. So let's spawn ourselves a test certificate. Hello! And this is going to be a hell of an explosion. He got away! Woo! He didn't quite get away. So, as you can see, it's a little bit more devastating than normal uh, TNT. So yeah, that's quite powerful. Let's put that back in there. But there's, a, there's an even more powerful one than that. So you get your enchanted. So once you've done this, normal TNT, you get enchanted TNT and put mystic powder on it and you get an arcane, arcane TNT. So let's move away away for this one. 
even though this is the last uh, item for me to demonstrate for you, before we go and check out the goblins. So let's put that down there. Oh god, fly away! I don't know why I'm worried, I'm in creative mode. But there you go, jeez. One rather large hole. Awesome. Whoops, there goes my bow. It's okay, I don't really need that. So there we are, those are the items that it adds into the game. There is a couple more. Um, you can also spawn villages if you don't if you if you're on like flatland or something like that, but it's not really necessary. And um, there is no crafting recipe for that because it's intended for uh, creative mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this village and we're going to have a proper explore around here and we're going to introduce all the different goblins that I can find. I'm going to do this in creative mode because I do believe they won't attack me. But don't quote me on that. Right then, let's go and check out this village. I've just brought up the wiki, not the wiki, but the forum page, just so I'll make sure I get the names correct for you. So here we go. Um, these are the totems that I was talking about. So these are what you need uh, to create the powder with. You... Hello. That's the leader. <laughs> um, we're actually in peaceful mode at the moment. I'll have to change that in a minute. Uh, but it's probably a good thing while we just check this out. So, you want to farm these totems. These are the different types. And uh, you just put them into a crafting bench and it'll turn it into powder. So, let's just have a quick or nosy around the village. These things here are actually spawner plates. So what these do is actually spawn the goblins for you. Um, there is items to be had, but nothing. you won't find anything amazingly special uh, inside these. Maybe a bit of powder. Not too bad. Golden ingots could come in handy. Let's have a quick nosy. Here's the like a dog pen. And let's have a quick look over there. This is like the leader's room. Well, uh, sorry, this is the mage's, um, the mage's house. We'll we'll meet him in a moment. So, right, let's uh, oh, let's have a quick look down here. We have like, uh, like a little mine thing going on. Yeah, so they're quite well made. These little villages, I, I quite like them. Uh, anything in here? See, so, yeah, nothing too special, but they're worth looting. They are worth looting. So let's get ourselves back over it and switch peaceful mode off and we'll, we'll meet some goblins. So, uh, put it back on normal. Here we go. Don't know if I'm going to get attacked or not while I'm in creative. Hopefully not. So they're spawning already. Here we go. So this is, um, that's the leader. You can tell because he's got the scar on his eye. Uh, these are the warriors. Um, What's this one now? I think that's just a normal miner with the sword. We've got a ranger there. Uh, we also have riders. Where's the rider? There's riders. They're quite noisy on the on the wolves. And you'll notice the wolves are slightly different than normal. They don't have like a tail. They have like a flat tail. Let's see if we can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, it's a different model than normal wolf. Here's a bomber. With the bombs in the back. And um, where's... Is the king? I don't see. I don't see a mage anywhere. There's the leader. No, he's, he doesn't seem to have spawned. But there is a mage, and the mage will shoot at you. So there's a miner. A miner's popped up. I'm not seeing the mage anywhere at all, which is a shame. I wanted to show the mage off. Right then, let's see how long I can survive <laughs> against these guys. Probably not long. Let's do this. Oh my god, the bomb is after me already. Ah! And the wolves are after me, and the leader's after me. I'm gonna die! Oh. <laughs> so you can see what you're up against there. They are wild. Right, let's quickly get back into creative mode. Um, we'll put the sun back to dawn. Um, it should be just over this hill. I think the spawn point was really close. Uh, I believe they're up here. Yeah, there they are. So there we go. So we're back here now. So there we are. Um, <laughs> crazy little guys. Uh, there actually is two, I believe, two extra rare mobs that will spawn. And even the mod creator says it's very rare for you to even bump into them. So I don't even know what they look like. I don't know what they can do. But there we are. That's it. Um, if the mage goblin does spawn, he will shoot lightning at me, so you need to be careful of the uh, the mage. So here we are, that's the goblin mod, I hope you enjoyed that little spotlight. I know I like this one, this is another one of my favourites, it's definitely. I oh, see, look, they drop the items, they drop the items you can craft. See that? 
So, there we are. Um, don't forget to like and favourite, and uh, catch you all on the next time. Have a good weekend!